Finale has always offered the freedom to create anything you can imagine. Today's Finale extends that same freedom to the way you work. As an example, let's look at hiding staves. Perhaps you want this horn staff to not appear when the horn is resting. Select this staff system, or this staff for the entire piece, and choose Hide Empty Staves. The horn staff disappears from any system where it contained only rests. Non-printing, screen-only feedback reminds you where you've hidden a staff. Better yet, if you add notes in another view or move measures, each staff system is automatically updated as needed so all notes are visible. Now you can hide or unhide staves and add notes in any order and never miss any notes. If you wish, you can also hide staves that contain music, as you might for an unseen playback effect. When you do, you can choose to have the space between the remaining staves retained or collapsed and can indicate if you wish the staff hidden only in the score. Helpful when you wish to create parts that don't appear in the score. It's quick and easy to move staves. Simply drag any staff up or down. Notice the distance between staves appears on screen as you drag. Want to move this staff in all systems? Simply double click and drag. If you'd like to reorder staves and or groups, there's no need to drag them. Now you can instantly reorder any staff or group of staves in one step. Groups and brackets have been updated too. We've simplified the process of editing group names and brackets, as well as changing them in all or just part of your score. It's also easy to have full staff and group names appear anywhere in your score. Very helpful when you're starting a new movement. New control over staves is just one way in which Finale frees you to work in any way or in any order you wish. Transferring your imagination to the page and to your audience has never been easier.